shoot beautiful photos outdoors using a softbox. In this video, I show you how to naturally and beautifully photograph a woman outdoors using a softbox. In addition, I'll tell you the difference depending on how you apply the straw. This time, we are using a location with a white wall. When there is a white wall, it's easy to control the light quality because you are able to bounce the flash of the wall. We have our subject stand by the wall on the right facing us. First, we adjust the exposure to the brightness of the background. The background is being lit by sunlight and is bright, and the subject is in the shade and made darker. The background brightness is fine, so keeping this exposure, we light the subject with a flash. The flash is a Godox 8200. The exposure is ISO 400, aperture f2.8, and shutter speed 1 400. The camera is Sony's Alpha 1 and the length is 70 to 200 f2.8. First, we aim the flash diagonally towards the front of the subject. The light is hard, so the highlights are washed out and the shadows are strong. Especially the shadows on the wall are strong and it looks unnatural. Next, we bounce the flash of the white wall that is facing on the left side. The light bounce of the white wall is diffused and softened. The shadows are lighter, and it looks nice. The background balance is good, and it looks natural. This would be fine, but let's try using a softbox and aim directly at the subject. Compared to without the softbox, the light is very soft, but the light when bouncing is softer. This looks more unnatural than when we bounced the light before. It's very easy to see. Next, when bouncing the light off the white wall, We can say that it's even softer than when we bounced the light before. It's very natural looking. The light is softer when bounced the softbox against the wall. When photographing outdoors, after adjusting the exposure and hitting the subject with soft light, you can have a beautiful photo that looks very natural. For variation, you can adjust with the direction of the subject, bring the light a little towards the back, move the softbox very close to the subject, make the background dark, or try other things. Daylight synchronization is difficult, but fun, so please give it a try!